Okay, now we are ready to start our Google Hangout on Air event. So I'm back at my Google Plus page, and um, all I need to do is click on the Start button here. So I'll uh, join. I can invite guests right here, and I will want to invite uh, my colleague Jill, and I will invite her. So that's one downside to Google Hangouts on Air. You can't, you can invite people to the event uh, when you create the event, but that's just a link to watch the Google Hangout on Air. To actually invite them to participate within the Google Hangout on Air environment, you need to um, invite them when you join the meeting. So like I did just now, I invited Jill. Um, I can also use this button here to invite Jill. So I'll just send her another note here. And another option is you could use this le link here. You could copy this link and send it in an email and then people can join your session. So now here's Google Hangout on Air. It looks a lot like Google Hangout, um, but there are some differences. So one, there's a couple of different tools here. And like it said, uh, there was a showcase, an application to share links and stuff. I'm not going to do that. The question and answer one, I want to start that. Um, and you need to click on this before you hit start broadcast in order to use it. So now when your class is viewing the Google Hangout on Air event, they can ask questions right here in this space, which is nice. Um, and one thing I haven't done, so so we'll hold on this pre on this talk right now. We're going to kind of wait for Jill to join. Um, but what I need to do is uh, share the link to the event um, in my course. Uh, so I can right here. There's a links uh, button, and I could copy the YouTube page. Um, I can do that, or what I, what I should have done right away is on my Google Hangout on Air Google Plus page, I can go right here to, oops, sorry, I can go right here to the links and then copy the YouTube page. Now I'm, going, I'm just going to copy the YouTube one. I think that's probably better. And then in the course, in, let's say your instructor has a place where you can uh, place all of the uh, Google Hangout on Air events. So, um, I'm going to just add a new discussion topic here, and I'm going to say group A Google Hangout on Air event, and I will paste the link. Uh, it's not going to the link's not going to work unless I select it and then hit the link icon here, paste the link in the link URL, and then open a new window blank, and then hit insert and post a forum and hit continue and now let me see which one was that it must be this one here now students will be able to see a live version of it so the event hasn't started yet but when I hit start broadcast it'll play back in here there will be some delay but it'll play back in here and I can show you what what that looks like so What's great is they can view it right here within the course, or they could go, they could click on this and then hit YouTube, and like it says, please stand by, um, and it's counting down to the time when it will actually start. Okay, so now, now I'm in the Google Hangout on there, and I see Jill has joined us. Hi, Jill. Hi. So here we are in our Google Hangout on Air event. We've, let's say we've practiced, practiced our presentation many times and another thing you can do is um, I'm guessing that you have slides that you want to present with make sure to hit the screen share option and then choose the full desktop um, not individual windows the full desktop option or full screen share um, works the best so uh, another couple of um, tools up here so if I uh, kind of roll over with my mouse on the video window you know like I said you can invite more people you can mute your microphone you can turn off your camera 
um, you can choose your microphone and webcam options here. So if, if I had multiple, I could choose you know which one I wanted to use. All right. And like I said before, uh, the question and answer option is nice. But we're, we're not presenting yet, so what I need to do is start the broadcast. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll say, OK, we're about to go live. And it usually, OK, it happened immediately. Sometimes it takes a little while to go live, but now we are live. And other people can watch the broadcast. So I can go to our course. And this might take a second, but it will. Let me see. I'll click on the YouTube option. And it should. And yep. it usually. Okay. Yep, there we are. There's a bit of a delay, uh, but it's there. And then if students wanted to, or if your class wanted to contribute to the question and answer option, then they need to click on this, be part of the conversation. So when they do that, all right, so now if I was uh, watching this as a student, I could ask a question. Um, what did you say about sharing your screen? And I could submit that. And then when, I, when we're in the live session, when Jill and I see this, we can see the question up here. And then we can say, uh, we can select it, and then we can bring it up. I said, um, you know, to click on this green icon and choose full desktop. So this is Google Hangouts on Air, and um, that is about it. Um, I would encourage you to practice this over and over and over again, see what the limitations are. One thing I want you to know is that if you started a broadcast and then you hit stop, you cannot reuse that Google Hangout on Air event anymore. You would have to go ahead and create another Google Hangout on Air event, and then I would have to invite Jill again, and so on and so forth. So you can't reuse Google Hangout on Air events. So that's one thing to note. But um, I think that is it. So thank you, Jill, for joining us on this no test here. And um, I will stop this, and then we will. Uh, I'll explain more about what's going on with the course in Moodle. Okay, thank you. Okay, so then in Moodle, students, w which is nice, students can just play this and watch it back. If they wanted to be part of the conversation, they would just click on this, and then they would uh, be uh, viewing the the. I'll just click on it like we showed before, they would watch it in this window here, the Google Hangout on Air event window. And uh, they can ask questions and so on and so forth. So that's Google Hangouts on Air. And so the last thing I want to show you is that after your broadcast, you will find the recording of the video in your YouTube account. So I just, what I did just there, I went up here, hit the grid icon, and then went to YouTube. And now in YouTube, if you're not already signed in, you can just, um, there should be a sign in button. You just hit that and you should automatically be signed in. Um, I'm going to go to my Creator Studio. And here is the event. Now I've recorded many, a uh, couple of Google Hangout on Air events, so I'm guessing this is it, but I can just click on this and it takes a little bit of time but here we go here it is so I can what I can do now is share this so I can copy this link and send it to the instructor and the instructor can grade it or the class can can grade it so that is it um, and then I'm not sure if this I guess we'll have to see, I'll have to come back to see if this will be to contribute um, if, if you don't have to do that you know if if you post the link to the YouTube event right here I'm guessing this is still going to be the link to the video that's gonna reside in YouTube uh, but I'll confirm that in a little bit
Okay, thank you.